Deep Space High Intergalactic Weather Watch. Jump into a wormhole and travel to deep space high. The school is in space, but hurry, because lessons are about to begin. One thing I've noticed is that there are a lot of satellites and probes up here. Over 2,000 in Earth's orbit alone, in fact. That's right, Stats, although only about 1,300 of them are operational. The rest is just space junk. <laughs> a bit like Sam's workbook. Hey, with all the real rubbish, they need a space rubbish truck. Before you dispose of all of them, Sam, those operational satellites play vital roles. Observing Earth, helping navigation, providing communication. And all of them must get a lot of solar wind up here. Yep, outside the Earth's magnetic field, there's no protection against those high-energy waves of radiation from the sun. And those high-energy waves don't mix well with the machinery and computers, right? Correct. It can cause them to produce faulty readings and even stop working altogether. Fortunately, there are scientists who help satellite owners keep an eye on the conditions up here. They even produce forecasts. What, like a weather forecast on TV? Well, it's not on TV, but certainly just as useful. It's a project called Space Storm. They combine the space weather readings with the likely effect on satellite technology. And it's not just helpful to people who operate satellites already, it's also useful for satellite designers so they can make sure new designs can cope with space weather. Hey, watch out for that space junk. Let's get out of here. I know just the place. Whoa, where are we going? The far side of the sun. Should be a bit quieter there. That's better. No one here but us. Um, not totally alone. What's that doing out here? Ha, that's stereo. Or oh, one half of stereo. Doesn't look like a stereo to me. Looks like a satellite. It is a satellite. Its name is Stereo. Stereo stands for Solar Terrestrial Relations Observatory. It's one of a pair. It and its twin were launched in 2006 in orbits around the sun in such a way that they're able to take readings from the far side. That's pretty cool. The measurements they've taken help give a full picture of the whole sun, not just the part you can see from Earth. The more of the sun that can be measured, the better that scientists can predict space weather. And there's a lot to measure. The sun is massive. You're right, it is. And next time we'll be getting even closer, so make sure you bring your sunglasses. Class dismissed. Deep Space High Intergalactic Weather Watch with support from the Science and Technology Facilities Council. Find out more at funkislive.com/space.